What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and layout tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to take our plans and create different line weights by stacking viewports. Um, if you're looking for more great layout tips, make sure to check out my layout resources page at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash layout. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about adding different line weights inside of your uh, layout plans. And so that that's one thing that's a little bit odd in the way that SketchUp does things is I can't go in here and just select a layer or anything like that and just add a thicker line weight. Um, just because of the way that the line weights are shown inside of SketchUp, it's a little more complicated than that. And so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna create a viewport with our vector line weight that's gonna allow us to have thicker lines inside of SketchUp. And so what I mean is, uh, let's go ahead and just use an example. So let's say for example, that we've got this plan right here, but what we wanna do inside of layout is we want our exterior walls to have a thicker line weight than the rest of our walls. Well, as of right now, our lines that are being shown are being created based on the section cut that's being taken through this wall. And the actual thickness of the lines is being generated by the section line width setting inside of your styles section in the edit tab in the modeling settings. So I could come in here and I could adjust my line weight width to something like three. And you can see how that gives me a thicker line weight but the problem is that gives me a thicker line weight everywhere. So basically everywhere that this section plane is intersecting with this wall. And so because of that, I can't go in here and just give a thicker line weight to just the exterior wall itself. Um, that, that just doesn't work with the way that this is rendered inside of SketchUp. And so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna create a new viewport and we're gonna use that viewport inside of layout and we're gonna stack it on top of our original viewport. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to give that viewport a thicker section line width. And so what I wanna do is I wanna start off by clicking on my tab and going into my floor plan view. And inside of my floor plan view, what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate this. So in order to duplicate this, I'm gonna right click on the tab and I'm just gonna click add. And this is after I've single clicked on this to make sure I have the same camera angle, that kind of thing. So we're just gonna come in here and right click and we're gonna click add. And so when we add this, what this is gonna do is this is gonna create a new scene. Well, within this new scene, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start turning off all the layers that aren't the ones that I wanna give a thicker line weight to. So I'm gonna turn off all my doors, all my ceilings, um, basically anything I don't want to have a thick line weight, I'm gonna turn off. So I'm gonna turn off all my cabinets, everything else. And so what this leaves me with is this leaves me with just the exterior wall here. That leaves me with just the exterior wall turned on. And so what we wanna do now is for this particular viewport, I'm gonna turn my section line width to, we'll go ahead and start with two. We may change it to three in a little bit. You can see how what that does is that means that this viewport is only showing this wall in a thicker line weight. And so once you have this kind of set up the way you want it to be, you can come in here and you can right click on this and click update. And it's gonna ask what I wanna do with my style changes. And in this case, I want to save this as a new style. I don't wanna update my, own, my old style in here because it'll mess up the view that we had in here before. But I'm also just gonna come in here, right click, and I'm gonna rename this. And I'm just gonna call this exterior wall dash heavy. And so that just indicates to me that this viewport that we have here shows the exterior wall in a heavy line weight. And in my floor plan black and white view, you can see how I haven't really adjusted that one. So that one kind of stays as is, but then I also have this other view in here. And so the other thing that we may have to do, and I'm not gonna do this yet, but we may have to do that, is we may have to turn the exterior wall layer off on our floor plan view. I'm not really 100% clear on that one quite yet, but um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save our model. And then we're gonna go over and we're gonna open up layout, and we're gonna open up our project. So I'm just gonna go up to file and I'm just gonna open up my floor plan layout file that we've been working on over the last few videos. And so the first thing you're gonna notice about this is this is gonna tell you that this sheet is out of date. 
So we can go ahead and just go in here and just click the update button. And what the update button is going to do is that's going to go in and that's going to pull in the most current version of this tiny house document or this file that we've been working from. And I'm going to go ahead and click close. And in this case, I'm going to insert a new page in here. And we're just going to call this A1.02 dash. And we'll just call this line weight plan just for simplicity's sake. And so what I want to do now is I want to start by inserting a viewport from that sheet that we've been working from. So you're just going to go up to file, insert, and you're going to double click on that file. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring in a viewport of that file. And so what we want to do, you want to always remember to do this, is you want to go in and start off by setting a scale. And if I go back and I look at my last page, that one had a scale of a half inch equals one foot. So we'll do the same thing for this viewport. We're just going to click on this viewport, go to your SketchUp model section and click the drop down. And then you're just going to do one half inch equals one foot. And so that's going to set the scale of your drawing in here. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to right click on this. And I want to go down to my scenes and I want to set my first scene to be my floor plan black and white view. That's the view that we had saved that basically has all of our walls on it. So that's going to be our first view in here. And so for right now, we want to go ahead and we want to set that particular for that particular item, we're going to go ahead and leave that as a raster image for right now. Um, we may need to come back in and change that to something else, but for now we'll kind of leave that as is. And so what I want to do is I want to take that viewport and I want to create a copy. So probably the easiest way to create a copy is just to hold the control key and click and drag this up a little bit. You can see how when I click and drag this up a little bit, that creates a copy of this viewport. And what I can do is I can just use the arrow keys to move this viewport around until it's stacked directly on top of this sheet. And you may have to kind of zoom in and do some fine manipulation of this with your mouse as well. Um, whoops. I just want to take this top viewport And I just want to move it so that it's stacked directly on top of my other viewport. And so now I have two viewports on top of each other. But what I want to do here is I want to right click on this. And in my scene section, I want this second view to be my exterior wall dash heavy. And so when I do that, you can see how what this is doing is this is actually stacking this exterior wall dash heavy item on top of the viewport that has my floor plan in it. And so the first thing we want to do, so you can see how you've kind of got this in place. But the problem with this is that this is actually covering up the windows and everything else in this viewport. So you can't actually see the windows because we've actually st stacked this wall view on top of our other view. And one thing we want to do about this one is we want to click this drop down and we want to change this to vector rendering inside of your SketchUp model tab. And so vector rendering only displays the lines inside of layout. It doesn't display faces or anything else, meaning that it's transparent. And so, or meaning that anything that isn't a line is transparent. So you can see how what that allows us to do is that allows us to have this separate viewport on top that shows everything below it through um, inside of layout. And so when you do that, what this does is all of a sudden for that particular viewport, since we changed it to vector instead of raster, that makes it so that the stuff below this can actually show through. So now, since we've stacked this on top of this and we've changed this to vector, layout can render the thickened line styles on here a lot better. Um, so you might want to think about taking your other viewport and also setting that one to vector. And that one is really going to depend 
on if you're trying to show things like colors or not because vector rendering is very good for rendering line weights but not so good for rendering colors but you can see how what we have now is we have one viewport which is our exterior wall heavy stacked on top of our other viewport which is our floor plan black and white and so one thing we can do with this is we can come in here and we can adjust the line scaling in order to make this line look thicker so you can see how for my exterior walls that I want to look thicker since this is a vector drawing stacked on top of another one um, this allows you to adjust the line weight scale of whatever view you have selected so you can see how what I can do based on this is I can adjust that line scale to something like one or one and a half in order to exaggerate that effect that's being created with the thicker line weights in here. So, and then one thing I would recommend once you have your line weights kind of showing up the way you want them to be, so you can see how I've got my walls in here and then my lighter walls down below. Once you have this all kind of set up the way you want it to be, See, so you want to avoid what I just did, which is accidentally dragging this so that it's no longer stacked on top here. So what I would recommend is I would recommend drawing a box across both of these, right clicking and clicking make group. Now if you accidentally drag one of them, they both move around. So you're not going to accidentally unstack this by messing around with it. And you can still double click inside of here and click on each one of your viewports in order to adjust your line styles. So let's say for example, I wanted this one to have a more narrow line. I could go in here and I could adjust my line style to like 0.2 or something like that. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. I think probably next week, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the dashed lines function that was added in SketchUp 2019. But hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you liked this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.